I want to talk about Trey Lance. Trey Lance, I mentioned at one point, he has a chance to be the San Francisco 49ers version of Patrick Mahomes. Now, again, Patrick Mahomes is this superstar quarterback, already to me a top 10 quarterback of all time. I never said Trey Lance was going to be Patrick Mahomes. However, what I meant by that take was this. The Chiefs had a great roster, a great head coach, but with Alex Smith as their quarterback, there was always a ceiling. And with Jimmy Garoppolo, with the 49ers, they won games, they even got to a Super Bowl at one point, but it was very clear at some point Jimmy Garoppolo was either going to hold the San Francisco 49ers back or he was never going to be good enough to go toe-to-toe with elite quarterbacks when he needed to. And that's been proven to be true. And not to mention, he has had some durability issues as well. So to me, because of Trey Lance's skill set and talent, I believe, and I still to this day believe this, I believe that he can be the key piece to the puzzle that finally helps the 49ers win a Super Bowl. Because the 49ers, they just need an above average quarterback that can at some point, just flip that switch. Hey, we need to get together a drive because we're in trouble and Patrick Mahomes is scoring on our defense. We need to stop the bleeding. Trey Lance, can you come to the rescue? I think Trey Lance, at some point, if he develops, he can be that guy, okay? Trey Lance, his ability to really throw the deep ball and stretch out defenses is really, really what impressed me when he was in college. And he can move around a lot, too. But Trey Lance so far, it's been a rocky start for him, you know. And I think the 49ers definitely are ready to win a Super Bowl right now. So the fact that Trey Lance got hurt and the fact that he just honestly needs much more reps than he's gotten, like the fact that Trey Lance, you know, has barely played any games in college. I think he was a one-year starter at North Dakota State, you know, and then he gets to the NFL and he's gotten injured, has barely played. This guy needs reps. Brock Purdy started a ton of games in college. And you saw he was NFL ready because of his talent, obviously, but also because he just have he just is a way more seasoned guy as far as football experience. So the thing about Trey Lance is Trey Lance must now develop at a rapid pace for the 49ers because the 49ers have Brock Purdy on their roster. They have Sam Darnold. And if Trey Lance flops or he can't win games this year, it could be over for Trey Lance. You know, and I understand that it takes time to be a great franchise quarterback. You know, you need to live in the film room. You need experience, you know. But the thing is, the 49ers are ready to win right now. Are they truly ready to allow Trey Lance to go through his growing pains, to really go out there and just be the guy. I'm not really so sure at this moment. So when it comes to Trey Lance, as I said about Desmond Ritter a couple weeks ago, you know, the the quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons now, the 49ers have a roster to win right now. Just like I think the Falcons have a pretty decent team right now to win. You know, if you can't make if you can't make things work right here, right now, I don't think the 49ers are going to have room for Trey Lance. Again, I would invest in Trey Lance. I would be patient because I believe if you're patient with Trey Lance, the final product he's going to give you is going to be pretty great. But I'm not the decision maker for the 49ers. So all I'm doing is pointing out the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is that is it a little bit unfair that Trey Lance got hurt and they barely started in college? Absolutely, it's a little bit unfair. Trey Lance deserves an opportunity to go out there and truly, you know, get a chance to prove himself. But again, in the NFL, you know, there's other guys out there that are willing to take your spot. And there's other very talented guys out there like Brock Purdy who started a, a ton of games in college and he seems like he's got it all figured out right now. You know, Sam Darnold will kind of see, but the point is, Trey Lance, it's a big off season for him, and it's a time where he needs to come in and he needs to show the 49ers that, hey, I can be a quick learner. I can really get this. I don't know what Trey Lance's future is with the 49ers. I believe in his talent. However, in order for Trey Lance to stick around with the 49ers, he's going to have to grow up 
very, very fast. And again, maybe he flops in San Francisco and eventually they maybe trade him to a destination where there's better, you know, opportunity for him as far as development of his career. But again, you never know if you're going to get another opportunity just because in the NFL, it's a business. And ultimately, that could be the case for Trey Lance to where, unfortunately, he maybe just gets injured and maybe we never hear from him again. But, you know, we'll see. Only time will tell. I'm very interested to see how Trey Lance pans out potentially with the 49ers.